How many of you remember the original Rabbids from Rayman in 2006? Anyone? No, me neither. But I do remember them from the more recently released games, specifically Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle in 2017 and the 2022 follow-up Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Both were actually really good XCOM style strategy games and you should check them out. I know, weird for a Rabbids game, right? But really, Ubisoft's Rabbids have been a video game franchise with dozens of games for 17 years and last month they invaded Reddit in all of their wacky zany glory. These were actually a set of limited free drops that were distributed in a very unconventional way. Previously, Reddit had distributed free drops usually by letting you choose any avatar you wanted with a basically unlimited supply. This time, each of the six available Rabbit avatars had a different total supply available, and you only got to choose one. Night Rabbit had 75,000 copies. Ninja Rabbit had 50,000 copies. Raving Rabbit had 10,000 copies. Traveler Rabbit had 10,000 copies. Plunger Rabbit had 5,000 copies. And Unicorn Rabbit had only 500 copies. So what did everyone choose? Well, people naturally picked the one that they thought looked the coolest. No, of course they didn't. Everyone immediately picked Unicorn and it sold out in like 10 seconds. After that, Plunger, Traveler, Raving, Ninja, and Night Rabbids were all claimed to their limit as well, and after several days, all of them were gone. This was a really interesting experiment on Reddit's part, as we had never had a free drop distribution like this before. Particularly, the dynamics with Unicorn Rabbid were very interesting to see unfold, being that it was limited to only 500 supply, while all of the others had numbers in the thousands. Free Reddit avatar drops seem to have somewhat limited potential on secondary markets so far, and rabbits aren't really much of an exception to this outside of Unicorn. Knight currently sells for about 5 cents, and Ninja sells for 15 cents, but from there we get a nice little bump. Traveler goes for about a dollar, Raving Rabbit currently goes for a dollar 80, and Plunger goes for two dollars and fifty cents. Not bad. But the anomaly here, Unicorn Rabbit, goes for a pretty hefty $53. This is pretty cool for a completely free drop, and at one point near release they were even selling for nearly $200. The highest sale that I could find was Unicorn Rabbit number 2 for 0.25 ETH, or about $460. Absolutely bonkers for a free drop. So time for the showcase here. Unicorn Rabbit has just four traits. We can add the body and bushy tail, along with the golden plunger that everybody seems to want, the goofy rabbit head, and then the eyes, and finally this amazing hair. Raving Rabbit has four traits again. We can add his signature plunger gun coming out of the background, goofy eyes and head, and then remove his legs and add some debris to make him look like he's coming out of the background. Plunger Rabbit has a million traits to account for all of his plungers. We can add the main plunger, eyes and head, head plungers, body plungers, and the plunger on his ass. Ninja Rabbit is back to four. We add his legs, serious eyes, plunger nunchucks, and cool mask. Night Rabbit features his trusty plunger sword, boots and briefs, head, helmet, armor, and eyes. Traveler gets his briefcase, which he presumably uses to travel through dimensions, body, legs, head, eyes, and plunger hat. Along with the NFL Super Bowl free drops, these so far represent the only two official partnerships that Reddit collectible avatars have done with major brands. It's definitely cool to see and makes me wonder what other brands that Reddit might partner with in the future as well. The success of Unicorn Rabbit specifically might show us that ultra rare free drops might be something that Reddit continues to do going forward. As always, I will be doing a giveaway for this video. I will be giving away all of the Rabbit avatars except for Unicorn. I know, boo. For all of my giveaways going forward, I'll put a link in the description of my videos to the Reddit threads where the actual giveaways will be happening. All you have to do to qualify for them is like and comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, and then leave a comment in the thread that I will link to. I will choose five winners next Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll have another news video out soon regarding Gen 4, and after that I've already begun work on two new Avatar Future videos. Till then, take care everyone, and I'll see you on Reddit.